how can you get infinite banking done right? You know, there are a lot of agents out there selling the wrong product, selling the wrong company, designing the infinite banking policies incorrectly. Today, I want to show you how you can get infinite banking done right. Take a look at this. What I mean by infinite banking done right is a properly structured infinite banking policy design. Let's look at what that looks like. A properly structured infinite banking policy design starts with a mutual insurance company and we always use whole life insurance. Whole life insurance has guarantees. It's not tied to the stock market. You never lose money. There won't be any years that you don't make money. It's always guaranteed to grow and make money every year. In this high cash value whole life design, this is based on a 35 year old female. We have $50,000 a year going into the policy and we want to focus on this column right here called total cash value. In year one, we see $38,505 of cash value. If this were a traditional old style whole life policy, the cash value would be zero. Even if it were an IUL, an indexed universal life policy, which I don't recommend for infinite banking, there would be surrender charges in the policy for 10 to 15 years and you wouldn't have access to this much cash value because of those surrender charges. As time goes on, notice the cash value growing and getting larger every year. This cash is liquid. You can begin taking policy loans to use your policy for the infinite banking concept 30 days after you start the policy. You're not locking up your money. Your cash value is liquid, 90 to 95% of it. And unlike a 401k or an IRA, there's no penalty for using this money. If you try to take money out of your 401k or IRA before the age of 59 and a half, you'll not only pay the tax, you'll also pay a 10% early withdrawal penalty. That is not applicable here. If done correctly, all your cash value growth is 100% tax free. So in year four, if she wants to take a $150,000 policy loan, she can. She has $183,000 of cash value. And the remarkable thing here is that when you take a policy loan for infinite banking, the insurance company doesn't physically remove that money from your cash value. She would still be earning interest and dividends on her total $183,000 of cash value even though she has a loan. She can also choose how to pay the loan back. It really is her own bank. She can pay the loan back however she wants. She could pay it back monthly. She could choose not to make a payment back for a couple years. She could choose to do one balloon payment and pay the loan off all at once. It really is her own bank and the way she pays the loan back is up to her. In our next infinite banking policy design, we're looking at a 40 year old male He's putting in $40,000 a year and a $200,000 lump sum. That's one of the great things about these policies is that you can add large lump sums of cash. In year one, we see a total of $240,000 going in and net cash value is $226,540. It's fun to see the math on this. If we take the $226,540 and divide it by the $240,000 of premium that went in, over 94% of his premium is going straight to cash value. And because he put $200,000 in the first year, he could continue to put $200,000 in through the seventh year without any additional underwriting or approval if he wanted to. It's a flexible premium. This policy in particular can go down to about $15,000 a year all the way up to $240,000 a year or any amount in between that. In year two, he's going to put in the $40,000 and we see the cash value continuing to grow. And you'll notice that the cash value is growing by more than the $40,000 premium that he's putting in. Same thing applies here. Let's say he wants to take a policy loan in the fifth year for $400,000, there's $420,000 in the policy. When he takes that $400,000 loan, the insurance company does not physically remove that money from his policy. He's still earning interest and dividends on his $420,646 of cash value. Infinite banking policy design done right 
always has to be properly structured. It always must be a whole life policy. We want to minimize the base premium because this is the portion of whole life insurance that you're purchasing. You want the minimum amount of your premium going to life insurance. And you want the majority of your premium going to PUA, paid up additions. That's why I have three dollar signs here. The paid up additions writer allows you to maximize the cash value. That's the goal. In these infinite banking design policies, you want as much cash value as you can get. You have to be aware of the MEC limit. Right up top, when you fund PUA, you can only do that up to the MEC limit. Now I take care of that for you so you don't have to worry about it. But one of the ways that we raise the MEC limit is by adding a term insurance writer. That term writer has a lower premium cost, but it dramatically raises the MEC limit so that you can get all this extra cash into the policy. A lot of agents out there don't know this. And many agents that are attempting to sell an infinite banking design policy, they're putting way too much of your money in the base premium portion or all of your money into the base premium. And that's because they either don't know about this design or they don't want to reduce their commissions. You see, we as agents are paid on base premium. The more base premium that you put into the policy, the higher the commission is for the agent. I'll show you how to keep the base premium to the minimum amount and maximize your cash value. That will give you the best infinite banking design possible. Now, you do have to qualify. Not everyone can get a policy. We would look at your numbers together, submit an application to see what you qualify for. The benefits of infinite banking and high cash value whole life start with guaranteed growth of your money. You make money every year. You have access to liquid cash through policy loans for banking. This is your own banking system. And you can have multiple policies. If you max out one policy, it's very simple to start another policy. Tax advantage growth, and if done correctly, tax-free use of money. There are flexible premium options. You're not locking in to $50,000 a year or $240,000 a year or even $10,000 a year. The premiums are flexible, which are going to give you a lot of peace of mind. The cash value is not tied to the stock market. There are no losses. You get a guaranteed rate of return and a dividend. High contributions are allowed. You're not limited like you would be in a 401k or an IRA. As you saw earlier with the 40-year-old illustration, 240000 a year. You could put in more, you could put in less. Collateral assignments. This is when a bank will take a collateral assignment of your death benefit. It makes you a more advantageous borrower. For example, if you're a real estate investor, banks love high cash value whole life insurance because they know there's a permanent death benefit. So if something happened to you, they have the collateral assignment that would pay off your loan. They don't have to foreclose on the property. They don't have to wait three, six, 12 months for the property to sell. The collateral assignment can be used by you. It's another benefit that you have with a whole life policy. And as I mentioned earlier, when you take a policy loan, your total cash value grows despite that policy loan. To learn more and to see your own numbers, email me, visit the website, watch more of my YouTube videos on my YouTube channel, at Wealth Optimized. I look forward to talking with you. Take the next step to see your own numbers and how a properly structured infinite banking policy done right will benefit you.